Atletico Madrid have reached an agreement with Manchester City to sign Julian Alvarez. The 24-year-old striker was briefly linked with a move to Arsenal and Chelsea this summer as he looked to leave the Premier League champions. Edin Kedia has attracted interest from a number of Premier League clubs, but Marseille have made the most front-footed move to sign him as things stand. It's a move that the 25-year-old is open to, with a chance to work under Roberto De Zerbi viewed as particularly appealing. Arsenal have shown significant interest in signing free agent Adrian Rabiot following his departure from Juventus, according to Tuta Juve. The 29-year-old midfielder is currently without a club after his contract expired at the Old Lady back in June. Arsenal have refused to rule out a loan move for Aaron Ramsdale before the end of the window, according to Gibbonsport. Ramsdale, who joined the Gunners for £24 million from Sheffield United three years ago, made just six Premier League and eight in all competitions appearances last season. It is thought that Mikel Arteta is a big factor in the interest in Marino, and it is this which makes a prediction that Marino will arrive to be the safest bet in midfield. Arteta tends to have a greater weight when it comes to discussions over targets shown as recently in the deal for Calafiri. Alexander Zinchenko is confident Arsenal have what it takes to achieve success this season, after missing out on the Premier League title to Manchester City for the last two years. He said, as quoted by Standard Sport, E obviously, I think we have everything. An amazing squad, amazing coaching staff, a lot of fans around the world supporting and pushing us forward. Arsenal are eager to pursue a deal for talented Brazilian attacking midfielder Gabriel Carvalho. Carvalho signed his first contract with Internacional last August and made his debut in June at the age of just 16. He is rated at around £21.5 million, despite only making one Serie A appearance. Arsenal had made Newcastle forward Alexander Isak their top target during the summer transfer window. However, the Gunners did not want to be drawn into a transfer saga. Newcastle have rejected Arsenal's advances, with Mikel Arteta's side now looking at alternative targets. Victor Osimhen and Ivan Toni have both since been linked with a move to the Emirates. Former Arsenal forward Alexis Sanchez is closing in on a move to Udinese, according to Sky Sports Italy. Sanchez, who is currently a free agent after leaving Inter Milan, is set for a move to fellow Serie A side Udinese. Napoli are desperate to get Victor Osimhen off their books amid interest from Arsenal this summer. Napoli can't afford the wages they agreed with Osimhen as part of a new deal that was designed to ensure a higher sale price for the club. But right now, it seems as if no European side can afford the pound 85 million rated striker either. Arsenal are ready to formalize their interest in Turkish right-winger Baris Alper Yilmaz. The Gunners are preparing a bid in the region of 17.1 million pounds for the 24-year-old, who scored seven goals and added 12 assists in 55 appearances for Galatasaray last season. Arsenal are just one of several Premier League clubs linked to Crystal Palace star Mark Gahey. Former club Chelsea are interested in signing Gahey, but it appears as though Newcastle are in pole position to acquire his services having recently opened talks with Palace. Barcelona are desperate to sell Frankie de Jong and have thus offered him to multiple clubs including Manchester United. With his asking price between £35 million and £40 million, it is an excellent market opportunity that Arsenal could try and take advantage of.